Hello, my name is Andrew Riccio, and in this video I'll talk about the physics involved with counterweight trebuchets, and I'll include some beneficial strategies for designing trebuchets. But first, let's learn some basics. The trebuchet utilizes two different types of energy, potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy is the energy stored in an object as a result of its vertical position or height. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Potential energy is present at the start of the trebuchet's motion, so it's right here. Kinetic energy is present once the object goes into motion, so there's a transfer from potential energy to kinetic energy here. That's the important thing to remember. Down uh, at the bottom here, we have two different equations that can be used to find potential energy and kinetic energy. We have P equals uh, mgh, so m is mass, g is gravity, and h is height, and ke equals 0.5 mv squared, so m is mass and v is velocity squared. On a side note, the force of friction works opposite the direction of the counterweight in the fulcrum of the trebuchet, so right here. The force of air resistance works opposite the direction of the pro projectile motion once the object's in the air, so object here, air resistance goes the opposite direction. There's also a centripetal force that occurs when the slings release, so CF. Next, I'll here. highlight some key design elements such as pivot point, counterweight, adding wheels, and length the of The pivot slings. point should be closer to the counterweight than to the payload. In this diagram, 1 is greater than 2. This will allow the payload to have a higher linear velocity than the counterweight. The length of this sling can vary, but I personally think that designers should make the sling length equal to the long arm of the payload the length. should weigh must, much more than the payload because it pivots around a shorter distance. Increasing the mass of the counterweight will help increase the energy of the trebuchet, and in turn, the optimal horizontal distance will increase. Adding wheels will add more energy to the trebuchet as the whole machine shifts slightly forward to make sure the counterweight falls straight down. The challenge is to take these four factors and determine the best design to maximize the horizontal distance of the payload. Good luck!